Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining me today. So, um, here we are. It's Sunday and I will be decorating my spread in my catch-all planner, which is a vertical layout for May 29th through June 4th. Can you guys believe it? We are officially moving into June this week. I know um, tomorrow's Memorial Day, um, but I think I'm going to do a memorial spread in one of my other planners um, for my catch-all this week. I cannot resist. I cannot resist this Retro Babe sticker book from Live Love Posh. I got two of these, and I am completely and utterly in love. This is, has to be like one of my favorite sticker books of all time. I am a retro fan. I love Amber's retro collections book as well. But the thing I love most about Live Love Posh, her retro book is that she combines her themes with florals. And that just did, look at this, it just did me, it just put me over the edge because I'm a floral girl and it's like how can you have a spray without florals um so I use usually I'll use Amber's books for my skinny classic and things like that because the deco stickers take up most of the with the boxes and the deco stickers it's really not a, a lot of space and some quotes um but in my vertical I feel like the florals take up a good amount of space along with the boxes and the deco stickers and, and quotes. So I need the florals. <laughs> I need florals. Um, I don't know. I, I can't remember life with all florals when I was planning. I don't know how I did it. Um, maybe that's something I need to go back to. I don't know. Um, but how could you not have florals? I love florals in my, in my spreads. Um, so I'm going to use this theme here. I mean, you guys, you guys, I just, I had to get two of these. And the butterflies. You guys know how I've been feeling about butterflies lately. So I'm going to use this theme here. I've already done, searched the books. And another thing is, I swear, like, Jojo be on it because her her boxes sometimes be so on point with the colors of of Jessica's. So I'm gonna use this set from I don't know, was I thinking about using the brown too or just the I mean I feel like I could I'll see. But I'm definitely using this color, the golder type of golden type of brown here from her jewel tone boxes and then I have from her summer 2.0 I'm gonna use this color here um, I feel like it goes pretty well and then from her uh, rainbow I'm going to be using this uh, lighter orange no 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 it was a darker orange the darker orange so I didn't pull any boxes because um, I pulled boxes before and I still have them from the other spreads, sadly, still on the wax paper, which is probably stuck on there now. And that's another reason why I don't like to pull stickers because I really am not good at putting stickers back when I'm done with them. I can show you the proof. It's literally right here from I don't even know what. Um, spread they were from. It was a minute. So, I'm going to get started. And I have quite the story to tell you guys. Um, yeah. There's something hanging off of my finger that's hate when that happens when you have the skin that comes up on your fingers okay 
Wait, let me see what color I want to use. I think I want to use the dark orange for a sidebar sticker. And then she has the quotes too in the back, so that's awesome sauce. So I don't have to look for any of those. So, Wednesday, after I filmed, I told you guys how important Wednesdays are to me with my shows. Um, no, I think I filmed during my break. Yeah, because after I finished working, I came in my room. I was getting ready to get settled in. And I turned my TV on, getting ready for Survivor Finale. And half the TV was scrambled. The other half was fine. So I'm like, is that my TV messing up or is it just the channel having issues? So I turned my TV off. I turned it back on. And it was all black. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered I wanted to use this washi on the side here. Just remembered I want to use this washi here. Make the grooviest spread ever. Okay, can we like get ourselves together here? I'm wondering if I should do top and bottom or just. We'll see. I think I might use this throughout though. Well, I can't really use it throughout because. Not a lot of washi, but we're gonna make it work. Already loving it. That's it. It's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Already love it. All right, so back to the TV. So I turned it off. Just turned it back on. Now it's all black screen with just sound. So I'm like, okay, here we go. Try to turn it off and on again. Same issue. Unplugged it, plugged it back in, same issue. So I Googled and it was saying to do a soft reset. It should help. It's a Vizio 52 inch, I think it was 52. Wasn't fond of Vizio to begin with, but my boyfriend at the time swore by Vizio. I had to get a Vizio. I would have preferred a Samsung because that's the brand I usually buy, but whatever. So, Googled it, do a soft reset, you unplug it, hold the power button for 30 seconds, plug it back in, should work. I do that. Nothing happens. Oh, now there's no sound and there's a black screen. So now I have nothing. So I'm like, this is absolutely wonderful. Survivor's about to come on. What the heck am I going to do? Please don't let me have a hard time getting this off and just on the paper.
So I remember when I moved here, my Samsung TV that I had, um, we had put it up because we went and got the Vizio. So I go get that out the closet. And I'm wondering now why we even bought the Vizio. Because I'm like, if I had my Samsung, why did we buy the Vizio? Right? So, uh, pull it out the closet. Now I know why. He wanted to just go buy another TV because I could not find the plug. When I packed everything, I don't remember where I where the plug went to the television and that was the issue he didn't want to just buy a plug he's like oh you just might as well just get another tv that's why he bought the tv all right before i get decorating decorating happy here let's start putting down some boxes So now I'm like, what am I going to do? Then I remembered that my son had gotten a TV, bought it from somebody. And I had it in another closet. So, went in the other closet. Now, this TV was another 50-something inch television. So... I'm just letting you know how big these TVs are compared to me, who is five, one and a half with the shortest arms, right? By myself, trying to get this TV out the closet. So I do that, pull that TV out, and realize I have a cord. But there's nothing on the back of the TV to mount it on my TV mount. Because I have like a TV stand with the mount connected to it. Great. That's good news. So. Instead of taking the TV down or whatever. Which I was like, okay. Can't really do that because I have nothing to put the TV on. So it has to lean. It was late. I didn't feel like being bothered with the whole thing. So I leaned the uh, my son's TV on the TV stand up against the TV that wasn't working just to watch Survivor. Had to look up cords, search cords. So I could find a plug for my Samsung. I'm trying to think about my week and what I have going on. So Walmart didn't have them, or they did, but they had to be shipped, and I wouldn't get here till next week. And I was like, okay, that's not going to work. Went on Amazon, which should have been my first choice, and they could have it sent Friday. I think I'm going to do two boxes. I think I'm going to do, am I going to do double box? If I do the double box, though, it takes away from my decorating. I may not. So, 
So, put in an order for that. For the plug to come. So, Friday comes. Now, this was Wednesday. Friday comes. The plug is delivered. I try it out. Works perfectly. Great. Excellent. So, I get busy. Unplugging my son's television. Taking down. I have to unscrew the TV that's already propped up. My TV, the Vizio. On the from the TV mount, get that down by myself. Finally, get that off. Pick that one up, put that to the side. I already had to pick the other one up, put that to the side. I get the Samsung, get the screws that I took off from the Vizio, and they are not the right screws. <laughs> I'm like, can this be any more difficult? Can we just have an easy transition? I am tired. I am sore. I've been lifting TVs, I feel like, all week. And I'm over it. Okay? I'm over the TVs. So, I had to Google that. And it was like, yeah, most screens for the TV mount, depending on the brand, they have different... Um, screw sizes or whatever. Um, if I put things together and stuff all the time, I would have known that. I don't, so I didn't know that. Great. So now I'm trying to find, because I know when I moved here, I had a place where I had put like everything I buy, any appliance, I don't even care if it's a toaster. The instruction booklet goes in my kitchen drawer everybody has like that junk drawer where everything goes that's where i put all of that stuff so i go in there i'm rummaging around i see instruction booklets for my cuisine art for my microwave for uh, my blender <laughs> stuff i haven't even used i can't even tell you how long all that stuff is in there anything for the tv mount in my room, nothing. So I said, well, it's in my room. Maybe I put it in my nightstand drawer. Rummaged around through there. Found instruction booklets for my cart, my craft cart. I found instructions for the desk I put together in my room. Um, no TV mount. And I'm like, what the heck? So I was like, okay, let me get back on Google See if they can tell me, like, what kind of size of screw I'm going to need. So, it shows me, tells me the screw. I look it up on Walmart. Now, by this time, it's, like, almost 10 o'clock on a Friday night. This is, this, this is, it's just getting crazier. So, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Do I even feel like going out? And then it hits me. And I'm like, the bag. There was a bag. When we moved here, we had all the stuff we had to put together. And I put all this stuff in a bag. And I had it in my linen closet um, by the bathroom, of course. And now that's where my son keeps his stuff. So I'm like, I'm so tired. I don't even feel like digging. Because, of course, if it's not something you use all the time, it gets hidden, buried, or whatever. Okay. I'm like, this is, this is so awesome. Like. It's just, the awesomeness just, it's, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. So, uh, I think I'm going to need another one for Friday. That little box ain't going to do it. Just probably buy another little box. So I muster up my strength again to go in my linen closet, pull all of my son's stuff out. Because at first I'm like, well, maybe he moved it to one of the top shelves so it's out of the way. And I was like, um, that seems like such an easy thing for him to do. He probably did not do that. Let's be real. He probably just set everything on top of it. Let's 
is still crooked. And just kept it moving. So I said before I start gaining a chair, trying to get on so I can get on the chair to see if I can find it on the top shelves. Let me just get everything out of the closet. Did that. I found the bag. I was like, thank you, Jesus. The bag. I have it. Open the bag. And there, see, sometimes it pays to be neat and in order. Or organized in some way. Now, the bag being buried in the linen closet was not me of course that was my son and believe me I did not put it back there when I got done with it because we're not doing this again but I had a Ziploc bag inside of where all the screws and stuff was labeled TV mount bedroom TV mount that's how I labeled it I was like oh my gosh thank you Jesus so I pulled the bag out and all the other additional screws for all the other sizes of TVs you could have you guys, you don't even know how excited I was. I was like, thank you. Okay, I think I'm done with boxes. But I will leave them out just in case. So, got my screws. We did the TV. Pull, I had to lift it up, put it up there by myself, try to balance it on my... Cricket box. <laughs> so, yeah. And the whole time I was thinking of all of these shows like Ridiculousness and um, AFV where something bad happens and the TV falls and I'm like, please do not drop this television. I don't care if you have to use your last bit of strength. Do it. So. I was able to do it. Got it up there. It was screwed perfectly. I wish I could have put it up there, but. Got all the other TVs, and my son comes in right as I am cleaning off my TV mount because I'm like, well, since I did all this, I might as well clean this off too now. So I cleaned it off. Sorry for the motorcycle. It's nice out. Um... And here he comes in when I am about to put everything back after I cleaned it off. He was going back out anyway, so I was like, it's a good thing I didn't wait for him to come in because he would be like, what can I do when I come back in because I'm about to go out? That's what I would have got. Mm, I'm gonna use this. I was so proud of myself. Where are my butterflies? so proud of myself. Now I'm still going to get, I need to get 
I like the TV, but I think I'm still going to get like a bigger, bigger one because now the space looks weird. It's not that much smaller. I think that one, like I said, is a 48, but I don't know. Let me just even leave it. I don't know about this. I don't think I can move it either, but. But I was proud of myself for getting it done, even though it took forever. And I put those, I put my bag of screws and instructions in my room in my other closet. I'm not going to have that again. I want to flow here. That's been the end of my week. That was Friday. Saturday, which was yesterday, I went to a food truck festival which we have a lot here in Connecticut when the weather is super nice. We have those and we have the carnivals. So that was fun. I didn't eat a bunch of stuff. I had my usual fried dough, which I love. And, um, I think I'm going to take this off. Looks weird. Oh, I had a kebab. And ice cream cone. That's it. Now we have to stick down. I think I want this one. So, I did pretty good. Definitely got my exercise in, that's for sure. Oh, I like that. This book is so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh.
trying to lift this. Doing a lot and it's not. Nope. Put a sticker here. It's a good, I'm, I'm so glad I remembered that that bag though because I would have went and bought screws that I need didn't even need to buy. I love this washi strip. <laughs> so pretty. I love this pattern. So, I think I'm going to put this here as well. It's kind of short, but we're going to work with it. I like it. Let's go back here and see if we can get some. Get a quote here. gonna be weird though it's like a black and white I don't know if I want to do that maybe put another floral there or something
perfect. I love this spread. It's so cute. So stinking cute, you guys. I love this book. All right, let's get it in the planner. Could not wait to use this book. Okay, so this is going to be my spread and my classic catch-all planner for the week of May 29th through June 4th using Live Love Posh's new Retro Babe sticker book. If you guys love retro-themed stickers, I promise you. You will not be disappointed. Some of this stuff I looked at and cracked up laughing. This telephone, I laughed so hard because I remember that. The disc man, the uh, Game Boy, oh my gosh, you guys. Nintendo, we have one of those in every room. The trolls, the lava lamps. Care Bears, they were my favorite. I loved Care Bears. Yeah, Play-Doh, <laughs> the bubblegum band-aids. Oh my gosh, My Little Pony, I just seen that. Oh my gosh, these were my favorite pens. You thought you were doing something when you had pens like that. The Slurpees, I laughed so hard with the Marlboros. That was hilarious. The iPod. Was it our MP3 player? I think that's what we called those. <laughs> this bubblegum tape I loved. This is the one I I um I like to get. Oh my gosh, the ring pops. Yes. Oh gosh, those are such great days, great memories. Yes, I love this book, the Rubik's Cube. Yes, this is like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So this book is still available, I believe, on her website. Um, she also has Retro Holidays. Um, I will probably get that. I'm just not in a rush to get it, but I will probably get that one. I just had to get two of these first. <laughs> so um, the Retro Holidays and the Retro Babe is available on her website, I believe, still. Um you can use my code. I will have it in the description. And um, it would be great if you guys use my affiliate link as well um, to head over to her website. Um, you can use my code. You can get 10% off of anything on her website, excluding Posh Boxes. Um, yeah, she had um, different layouts of paper that came out with the last release. A lot of them are sold out, I know, because... I was one of the last ones to try to grab them, and yes, they sold out. I wanted the dot grid really bad, but um, I believe she's going to be restocking those in a couple of weeks. Um, I will keep you all updated on that if you are interested in the paper as well. But yes, head over to her website. I'm telling you, this, this book, this sticker book is amazing. I love it. So here it is. This is going to be my spread again. I thank you all for joining me uh, today. I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. And hope you guys have an awesome week. Happy Memorial Day to, to uh, everyone. And, um, you know, in memory of those who fought for our freedoms. Um, I have a lot of military family as well. So... My grandfather, he was um, a military man. My my mom and them traveled with him a lot. They lived in Germany. They were in other places. Um, yeah, and then a lot of his sons went off to the military, and a lot of their sons went off into the into the military as well. Um, <clears throat> so we do um, remember them um, today and every day, tomorrow for Memorial Day, but every day as well for their sacrifice for our freedom. 
Um, so again, enjoy your family, enjoy your time with them, um, make great memories, um, do something nice for yourself, enjoy um, something that you like to do as well. And I will talk to you all later. Okay, bye.